Eye in the tropics on this Saturday. I'm meteorologist David Eckert in Severe Weather Center 9, keeping a very close eye on now Hurricane Melissa. Rapid intensification basically underway tonight. Winds now 90 miles an hour. It's Category 1 hurricane, but that's going to change pretty quickly, it looks like. Over the next 12 to 24 hours, hurricane warnings in effect here for the island of Jamaica. We now have hurricane watches in effect for parts of eastern Cuba, southern sections of Haiti. And it looks like all eyes are going to be in Jamaica here over the next couple of days. This is going to be an incredibly impactful storm, it looks like, for the island nation. In fact, you can see the updated forecast cone, Category 4 hurricane on Sunday, Category 5 hurricane, which is as high as it goes in the Sanford Simpson scale. That would be Monday afternoon. The Hurricane Center is now forecasting a landfall in Jamaica. This would likely occur late Monday night into the morning hours on Tuesday. Then it begins to exit Jamaica as we move into late Tuesday, Wednesday. Eastern Cuba could have another landfall here and then heading towards the Turks and Caicos and possibly Southern Bahamas as we move into Wednesday. So we're going to be talking about potentially multiple hours of hurricane force winds across parts of Jamaica. The other big issue here is going to be rainfall. In fact, you can see here the probability of hurricane force winds ticking higher and higher for Kingston, Montego Bay, and Santiago de Cuba will likely see their numbers increase as well over the next couple of days. Rainfall totals are going to be historic in nature, especially here in eastern Cuba. Widespread 20 to 30 inch amounts, and some areas will likely end up with 40 inches of rain before it's all said and done, particularly in Jamaica. So here's the very latest on Hurricane Melissa. Again, rapid intensification now underway. We could have a Category 5 storm on our hands moving into Monday, and extreme impacts becoming more and more likely, unfortunately, for the island of Jamaica. Stay with Channel 9 Eyewitness News for the latest on the Melissa over the next couple of days.